Hey, thanks for joining us for the next episode of The Next 20 Now. I am your host, Joseph Courtney. On my right, we have Michael Harmon. Hello, everybody. On this episode, we are going to be reviewing the new issue of The Hulk, number one. Mike, I know you were not too happy with the previous series. We have a new writer, new artist, new direction. How do you feel? All right. So I'm very excited about this. First of all, Joseph, this is not the Hulk. This is the Incredible Hulk. I'm, I'm happy that they went back to the... Much as I loved Immortal Hulk, anytime the book gets renamed Hulk, it sucks. Like the John Byrne run was just Hulk. That was bad. Uh, when the Rampaging Hulk magazines turned, turned to color and switched to Hulk, that was bad. Um, it's never a good sign for the book. And no, the previous volume, Hulk, was, I've made no secret about my disdain for it, but this is a great issue. Um, it's going back to the immortal Hulk, kind of dark, twisted horror concept of the book. Um, it does, uh, it does involve the green door and the one below all, um, both, both of which were created by Al Ewing during the, during the Immortal Hulk. So as I read it, the Green Door, that's where I'll find out in the Immortal Hulk what all that was? Yes. Yeah, you will. I mean, you, yeah, you, yeah, I thought you read the Immortal Hulk. One of those series I own all 50 issues have yet to read any single okay. one. Well, yes, so the closing of the Green Door is, is a result of the end of, of the Hulk's actions in the, in the Immortal Hulk. So this pretty much ignores the whole... Starship Hulk, Donny Cates run, um, other than it uses that as the springboard for why the Hulk is upset with Bruce Banner. All right. Am I supposed to know who the mother of darkness is and these monsters? No, so the mother, the mother of darkness or the mother of monsters is a brand new character created for this book. And the story leads us to believe that her minions were freed because of the closing of the green door. As someone who has not read The Immortal Hulk and just jumped in with The Incredible Hulk, I enjoyed it. It was a, it's a dark, yeah, horror-themed one. The art matches the storytelling. Yeah, Nick Klein is a new, new-ish artist, and I, he did, if I, I won't say he blows me away like Joe Bennett did on Immortal Hulk, but I, I think it's really solid. He draws a big, gnarly Hulk. His monster designs are cool. I, I'm i surprised to hear you say he's newish. He looks... Uh, it did not look like a new guy. Right. He looks like someone who clearly knows what he's doing. Right. Has a familiarity with the characters. Yep. I, I, he, he does. He's, he, he impressed me. So as someone who has not read a Hulk book in years, I am incredibly interested. I plan on picking it up. I give it, what, 7 to 8 out of 10. Excellent. Mr. Hulk fan here. Excellent. I'm I'm giving it I'm giving it a solid I'm going nine out of ten. I really I really liked this one. Nice. And you've read it more than I have. I have read it three times now, which I normally never reread a comic book. All right, so moving on, we are previewing a book coming out. Um the FOC for all you fans will be July 10th, 2023. Let your comic book stores know that you want this issue. It is Fire and Ice. No, Joe, it's... Fire and Ice! <laughs> Keep going. It's, uh, I don't know the rest of the lyrics. It's... it's written by Bill Willingham, drawn by Leonardo Manco. Bunch Le- of covers. Leonardo Manco, yeah. I said it right? Y- yeah. Okay. Close. I, I, I've been right. known to butcher names. Right. A um, ton of covers, including one by Mr. Frank Frazetta, which is the original movie poster. Yeah, so this is a sequel to the 19, I think it's 85. Uh, it said 40 an- years. Animated movie, so, so 83, 83. Okay, animated movie that was uh, designed, character design was done by Frazetta, and it was animated by Ralph, the, the great Ralph Bakshi. Ralph Bocci, best known for his work on... Fritz the, Fritz the Cat, um, the animated Lord of the Rings movie. So the book cool looks world. like it's going to be a, a fantasy, well, like you said, a sequel to the movie. Yeah. I've never seen the movie. You have? I've seen the movie. I grew up with the movie. Well, we're the same age. But... Yeah, but I watched a lot more movies when I was a kid than you did. <laughs> Probably. But I think we're out of time. We are. Um, we both just... I was excited for this preview without knowing the movie. He saw the movie and as a equally as excited. I am very excited. It is released August 2nd. Let your comic book stores you know you want it. And uh, join us for our next episode of The Next 20.
Thank you. Thanks.